Although Vita Health Group provided this exercise class provisional with your health and safety in mind, each individual participant has their own limitations and should consult their general practitioner or an appropriate medical professional prior to undertaking the class. Should you be prone to injury, are currently pregnant or be managing any functional limiting medical conditions, please seek medical confirmation prior to participating. At all times, ensure you follow all instructions provided by Vita Health Groups throughout the entirety of the recording. Should you experience any symptoms of dizziness, nausea or increased pain at any point during your participation, please stop and seek the appropriate advice from your general practitioner or the 111 service. Hello and welcome to today's class. My name's Danny and I'll be your instructor for today. This class is our intermediate lower back class. It's made for people who are suffering with lower back pain, but have that past experience in exercise at an intermediate level. We're gonna target all of the major muscle groups in and around the lower back in this class. And the aim of it is to improve sort of strength, coordination and flexibility. All of the equipment that you'll need for today's class is gonna be shown on screen. So all you need to do is go and grab a drink and we'll get started with our warm up. Let's get started with our warm up then. So with this warm up, we're aiming to increase our heart rate, activate the muscles, increase mobility, all ready for our exercise class that's coming up. So we're gonna start off nice and simple with just some marching on the spot. We're gonna be doing this for one minute. Um, do it at your own pace, whether you wanna go nice and slow or quite fast, completely up to you. Um, fab, let's get going for one minute then. Make sure we're swinging those arms, lifting the feet nice and high whilst we're marching. Remember, we're working to increase that heart rate. So just taking it at your own pace. It's great, keep swinging those arms, lifting those knees nice and high. And we are nearly halfway there. Great. Again, taking it at your own pace, just as we start the warm up. Okay, 10 more seconds. Great, and bring that down to a stop. Brilliant, okay, next thing we're gonna do, we're just gonna do some jogging on the spot this time. We're only gonna go for 30 seconds this time. Again, doing it at your own pace. Just make sure that you've got a nice, safe environment around you. Okay, when we're ready, off we go. Again, make sure we're moving those arms and lifting those feet nice and high off the floor. That's it, halfway there. Good, five seconds left. And bring it down to a stop. Brilliant. Okay, so next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna go to do some hip circles. So for this one, I want your feet sort of shoulder width apart on the floor and the hands just resting on your hips. We're gonna start off with very small circles. So we're gonna sort of push the hips to one side, bring them round to the front and round to the back. Again, just do them at your own pace and also with the circle, just make it as small or as big as you can, depending on how you're feeling. We're gonna go for 30 seconds. When we're ready, off we go. That's it, so just make sure we're concentrating on really pushing those hips all the way around the movement. That's good. Um, because we're coming up to halfway, we're gonna switch and go in the opposite direction. Again, like I said, if you need to do small circles with how you're feeling at the moment, that's absolutely fine. Or nice and big circles, it doesn't matter. Great, and come to a stop. Okay, for the next exercise, we're gonna go into doing some leg swings. For this one, I'm gonna do it just freestanding, but if you need to, you can hold onto a wall, hold onto the back of a chair, 
whichever works best for you. We're gonna start off with our right leg. Um, so again, like I said, holding on to something for stability if needs be. We're gonna go for 30 seconds. We're just gonna lift the leg out in front of us and then slowly lift behind. Okay, off we go. So just swinging that leg at your own pace. Like I said, if you need to hold on to something, then that's absolutely fine. Good. That's great, keeping the knee nice and straight. And just swinging back and forwards. That's it, we've got five seconds left on this leg and then we'll switch over. Great, okay. So if you need to swing the chair around to the other side or reposition yourself so that you can hold onto the wall the opposite way, that's fine. And then we'll go for 30 seconds again. So on the left leg this time, swinging back and forth. That's great. Again, just doing it at your own pace, lifting the leg in a range of movement that's comfortable for you. Good. Okay, 10 seconds left on this leg. Great, and come to a, a stop, just back into our resting position. So the next activity that we're gonna do is gonna be with our arms. We're gonna go for some arm circles. So what we'll do, we'll start off with our right arm because we started with our right leg. We'll pop our hand out to the side. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with some circles, just going backwards like this. If you need to do the circles nice and small, that's absolutely fine. Obviously, if you can, then we're gonna do nice big circles with the arm. Again, just do whatever feels comfortable for you at the moment. And again, we're gonna go for 30 seconds. That's it. Like I said, make sure we're doing this one in a comfortable range of movement. Um, it can be as small or as big as you need at the moment. That's great, we've done 15 seconds on this arm. That's great, last five seconds. Brilliant, okay. And this time we're gonna do the exact same on the left arm. So again, arm out to the side, you can do small circles if you need to, obviously big ones if you can as well. Fab, off we go, 30 seconds on this one. That's great. Again, just going at the, the speed that sort of works for you at the moment. If you need to move nice and slowly through this movement, that's fine. Obviously if you can, then obviously we'll go a bit quicker. That's great, and just five more seconds. Perfect, okay. Last exercise of our warm up. we're gonna do some movements with our spine. Um, so we're gonna work in four different directions. We're gonna go for a forward movement, a backwards movement, and then side to side as well. So what I'll do first is I'll show you what we're gonna do, um, and then I'll explain how many we're gonna do after that. So we're gonna have the feet shoulder width apart again. For the forwards movement, I'd like you to have your hands resting on the front of your legs. And then what I want you to do nice and slowly is just come down as far as you can until you start to feel that bit of a stretch in the lower back and then return up to your uh, neutral position. Then we'll go for the opposite. So this time you're gonna, I'll turn to the side to show you, you're gonna lean backwards. Again, just a gentle movement and back up to the neutral position. Then hands down by our sides doesn't matter which side you do first, but you're gonna bend over to the side, back up and over to the other side. We're gonna do five in each direction. Um, again, just going as far as you can. Okay, we'll do them all together. So if we start at the front, we're gonna come down, just go as far as you can, and then back up to that neutral position. Then we're gonna lean back, again to the neutral position, hands down by our sides, Drop one hand down the side of the leg, back up and then over to the side. So that's one repetition. So now we'll go for our second. So again, we're gonna come back down the front, nice and slowly and controlled. And then this time lean backwards. That's great. And then down to one side, 
back up and over into the other right direction. Brilliant, on to number three, so back to the front, coming down as far as you can, and back up, and then leaning back, and back into that neutral position. Hands down by our sides, and we'll go over to one side, and back up, then over to the other side, and back up. And now for number four, back to the front, leaning forwards, and back up. Hands on our hips and we'll lean backwards, back to our neutral position, and down to one side, and back over to the other direction. Brilliant, last one now, hands back on the front. We're gonna lean down as far as we can, back up to the middle, hands on our hips, and lean back, back to the middle, and then this time we'll drop down one side, back up and then down to the other side. Okay, that completes our warm up. Um, so if you want to go and grab a, a bottle of water ready for our um, exercise class and we'll get started. Okay, this exercise that we're doing is called the body weight squat. We're gonna do 10 repetitions have a bit of a rest and then we'll go again for a second set. So just make sure that you've got some room around you. We're gonna be feet sort of shoulder width apart for this exercise. The most important thing when we're coming down into our squat is to make sure that we're keeping the core engaged and that we're bringing the knees down in line with the big toes, okay? So have the feet sort of slightly turned out and when we're squatting down, we want the knees to fall in line with the, the big toes. We don't want any knees falling in or going sort of out towards the outside of the foot. Arms can be sort of out in front of you in this relaxed position, or if you feel more comfortable, then you can cross the hands over onto your shoulders. So let's get started. We're gonna do 10, like I said, for the first set. In terms of the depth that we're going to, just go to a level that sort of feels comfortable for you at the moment, but we're wanting to keep our back nice and straight and coming down into our squat position, really focusing on keeping the knees in line with the toes and keeping that core engaged, okay? Let's get started then. So we're going for 10 repetitions. So arms in your comfortable position and down into that squat, push back up, keeping that back nice and straight throughout and keeping those knees in line with the toes. And that's it. Really try and push back up through the legs when we're coming up in this movement. That's it, four more. Good, just go into the depth, like I said, that feels comfortable for you at the moment. That's great. Okay, so we're gonna take a quick 20 second break before we get started with our second set. So if you need a drink, then grab one and we'll be back to do the second set in 20 seconds. Okay, back for our second set then. So we're gonna go for 10 again. So feet shoulder width apart, really focusing on keeping those knees in line with the toes. So arms in a comfortable position and squat down and back up. That's it, really engaging the core throughout and focusing on your nice, slow and steady breathing. So if you find it easier with this one, you can do it in front of a mirror or something like that so that you're checking your posture. Let's go for three more. That's great. Okay, we're gonna take another 20 second break then before we move on to our next exercise. So make sure to grab yourself a drink and then we'll come back for the next one.
Okay, so this exercise is called the good morning. So for this one, we're gonna be standing. We need our feet shoulder width apart on the mat and the hands are gonna go up behind our head. In this one, what we're gonna do, we're gonna lean forwards in this position, but we need to make sure that we keep the back nice and straight. And obviously if we just leant forwards like this, you would start to feel like you were tipping, tipping forwards. So to counteract that, we need to push the hips backwards as we bring the chest forwards, keeping the back nice and straight. And then from here, you're gonna squeeze your glute muscles to try and pull you back up into a standing position. Okay, we're gonna go for 10 repetitions, then we'll have a quick break and then come back for the second set. So feet shoulder width apart, hands up behind your head, push those hips backwards and lower the chest, squeeze the glute muscles and come back up to standing. Okay, nine more. So we're gonna push back and come up. Very good, just go as far as you feel comfortable on this one. If you feel like your back's starting to, to sort of curl and not stay straight, then just stop at that point. Don't feel like you need to go past there. And really squeeze in the glute muscles to pull you back up. That's it, let's go for four more. Make sure we're doing that nice, slow and steady breathing throughout. Good, one more. Great, and squeeze those glute muscles up to the top. Fab. Okay, so we're gonna take 20 seconds, go and get yourself a quick drink, and then we'll come back for our second set. Okay, so back for our second set. We're gonna do exactly the same thing again. So feet shoulder width apart, hands up behind our heads, push those hips backwards, drop the chest forward, and then squeeze the glute muscles to bring us back up. And then we've got nine, nine more. So come back and back up. That's it. Nice, slow and steady breathing throughout. So keeping that back nice and straight. Good, five more. Good, just going as far as you can and also at your own speed, but don't feel like you need to do it at the same speed that I do. If you need to pause the video or anything like that, then you can. One more. Great. Okay, so we're gonna take another 20 seconds. If you need a drink, then make sure you grab one and then we'll come back for our next exercise. Okay, so this exercise is called the lateral lunge. For this one, you're gonna need a little bit more space in front of you. So I'm gonna step back off my mat. We're not gonna be going all the way out to the side with our lunges in this exercise. If you imagine that there's sort of a triangle in front of you, you're standing at the point. We're gonna be reaching out to sort of the other corners of the triangle. We're gonna go alternating legs and we're gonna do eight on each leg. So we'll do a total of 16 and then we'll stop, have a little bit of a rest and then come back for a second set. So if we start with our hands on our hips with this one, we're gonna take our right leg out to the side and come down into a lunge position, push ourselves back up into our neutral position and then go again with the left leg. Okay, that would count as one repetition and we've got eight to do, so we'll go for seven more. So come down just as far as you feel comfortable. So we don't have to go all the way to the floor. If you can go further down than me, that's great. If you can't go as far as me, that's also absolutely fine. Okay. Make sure when we're going into our lunge that our front leg is keeping our knees in line with our toes when we're coming down. Just take these at your own pace as well. If you need to go slightly slower, that's absolutely fine. Just pause the video and join back in once you've done eight. Okay, so we're gonna go for two more on each leg. Make sure we're focusing on that breathing. Good, last one on each leg. 
That's great. Okay, so we're gonna take 20 seconds rest now. Go and grab yourself a quick drink and then we'll come back for our second set. Okay, back for our second set then. So make sure you've still got that room in front of you. Again, taking these at your own pace. So if you need to pause the video, that's absolutely fine. We're gonna go for eight repetitions on each leg. So that total of 16 lunges, okay? So hands on our hips, foot out to the side, come down into your lunge and push yourself back up. Then on the opposite leg, and that's one repetition. Good. Make sure we're focusing on that breathing. That's great. That's three repetitions. Keeping those knees in line with the toes. Good, that's halfway now. So we've got four more on each leg. And like I said before, just go into your own depth on this one. Don't feel like you need to go all the way down. Just go as far as you can. Good, last one on each leg. That's great. Okay, so that's the end of this exercise. So we're gonna take 20 seconds to have a quick rest, grab yourself a drink, and then we'll come back for the next one. Okay, for this exercise, we're gonna be doing the lower trunk rotation. This one is a stretch as opposed to a strengthening exercise. So we're gonna be going a little bit slower on this one and doing some holds in certain positions. For this one, we're gonna be down on the floor on our backs. So just take your time getting down to the floor. If you need to hold on to something, that's fine. If you need to pause the video whilst you get in that position, that's absolutely fine. Once we're on the floor, make sure we're on our soft surface. We're gonna have our hands out to the side for this one. And then from here, what we're gonna do is lift one knee. It doesn't matter which, which one we do first. We're gonna lift up into this position where we've got the hip at 90 degrees and the knee at 90 degrees. And then we're just gonna very slowly take the knee across the body over to the other side. Just going as far as you can. We're gonna hold there for 15 seconds. Off we go. Make sure we're really focusing on that slow and steady breathing on this exercise. And just go as far as you can. As you can see, I can't get my knee all the way to the floor. That's fine. Um, if you can get the knee all the way to the floor, then that's great. If you can't, that's also fine. Just make sure that our shoulders are flat on the floor for this one. Okay, and then come back up into that neutral position. Drop the leg, pick the other one up, and then we'll go over to the other side. So keeping the shoulders flat on the floor, just go as far as you can. If you feel like you're rotating and the shoulders are coming up off the floor, then it maybe means that we're going a little bit too far. That's good. Okay, and then back up into that neutral position. We're going to do two more on each side. So we'll take our first leg up, up into that 90 degree angle, remember, and then slowly just take the knee over. Once you get to as far as you can, off we go, we're gonna hold for 15 seconds. Nice, slow and steady breathing on this one with it being a stretch. That's great. And then slowly come back up into that neutral position. Okay, let's swap over to the other, other side knee up into that 90 degree angle and then slowly drop down over you should feel this stretch in the lower back it should just be that gentle stretch not any pain if we are feeling pain we might just be going too far with this one and just bring the stretch slightly back if you are feeling any pain okay and then come back up 
into that neutral position. And we're gonna swap legs and go over to the other side. That's great. Nice steady breathing. Feel that gentle stretch. Try and relax the muscles into it if you can. Okay, and back up. And the last one now. So we're gonna lift the leg up and rotate over just as far as you can. Like I said, you should feel this stretch down into the lower back. You might feel a little bit of stretching into the glutes as well. Okay, and come back up from there. And then just at your own pace and very slowly, we're just gonna come back up into our standing position. Okay, we're gonna take 20 seconds then before our next exercise. So go and grab yourself a drink and we'll come back for the next one. Okay, for this exercise, we're gonna be doing what's called a one leg stretch. So again, we're gonna to need to be on the floor for this one. So take your time and get down nice and carefully to the floor into your seated position. And then what we're gonna do is have our knees bent up and we're just gonna lie flat on the floor. For this exercise, we're gonna have the head on the floor and the hands also on the floor. What we're going to do is from here, we want you to engage those core muscles. So like we said at the beginning of this class, we want you to engage the abdominals and also engage that pelvic floor. So you should feel like you're doing lots of squeezing in this area. From here, what we're going to do, we'll start with our right leg, is we're going to slowly lower the leg down towards the floor and then back up. But the whole time, I want you to try and make sure that we're still squeezing these muscles in the abdominals and in the pelvic floor. If at any point you feel like those muscles sort of disengage, just stop and come back up to that neutral position. Okay, so you don't need to get all the way down if you feel like you can't engage those muscles the whole time. Okay, we're gonna go 10 all together on our right leg first and then we'll do 10 on our left leg. Okay, off we go. So keeping that core nice and engaged, slowly lower the leg, making sure that those muscles are still engaged and back up again. Good. And make sure we're thinking about that neutral spine as well as keeping our neck in a nice neutral position. Okay, concentrate on that breathing as well. So breathing out as we bring the leg back up. Okay, a few more. Good, keeping those muscles engaged. Okay, brilliant. Okay, back into that neutral position. And then from here, we're just gonna swap over and do the same with our left leg. So remember when we're doing these, you should be feeling the muscles in and around the abdominals, starting to feel like they're, they're working really, really hard. Okay, off we go with the left leg. So nice and slowly down, making sure we're still engaging all those muscles in the abdominals and in the pelvic floor. So like we said right at the beginning, imagine you've got a nice tight belt on and you're trying to squeeze into it to get the second notch. And also think about if you needed the toilet and you're trying to squeeze those muscles throughout this whole movement. Okay, just a couple more. Nice and controlled. Keep breathing through the exercise. Brilliant. Okay, that's the end of that exercise. So we're gonna move on to the next one.
Okay, so the next exercise that we're gonna do is called tabletop with leg lowering. I'll explain more once we're on the floor, but for this one, we need to be on our backs on the floor. So take your time getting down to the floor. If you need to pause the video and join back in once you're there, that's absolutely fine. So we're gonna be lying on our backs for this exercise. And we're gonna have the knees up in what we call a tabletop position. So the hips are gonna be at 90 degrees and the knees are gonna be at 90 degrees, but with both legs. So to keep the knees in this position, you need to really engage the core muscles. Throughout this whole exercise, I want you to try and keep those muscles engaged in the core. So really squeezing those abdominal muscles. Hands are gonna go flat on the floor and we're gonna slowly, one leg at a time, lower the leg, tap our toe on the floor, and then lift back up. The whole time, squeezing these muscles in the abdominals. Okay, so you should feel them working really hard on this one. We're gonna do eight repetitions on each leg. So we're gonna do 16 in total. Then we'll have a bit of rest, and then we'll come back for the second set, okay? So knees up into this position, and then very slowly, you're gonna lower one leg, lift back up, and then switch legs, and coming back up. That's one repetition. Good, and lower the other, keeping that core engaged. Good, that's three now. And four, so that's halfway. Good, your back should feel nice and flat on the floor. That will show that we've got that, those muscles engaged correctly. So trying to push the back into the floor. Two more on each leg. Good, and one more. That's great, and relax from there, okay? We're gonna take a 20 second break, grab yourself a quick drink, and then we'll come back for our next set. Okay, back for our second set then. So we're gonna go back into that tabletop position. So lower yourself to the floor, hands down by our sides, knees up into that tabletop position and engage those core muscles. So squeezing those abdominals. And then off we go from here, we're gonna lower down and back up. And down and back up. Okay, seven more. Good six more if you need to go a little bit slower that's absolutely fine just take it at your own pace good okay four more on each leg that's great squeezing those abdominal muscles pushing that back into the floor Great, one more on each leg, nice and slow and controlled. Good. That's great, and take your time to get back up into your standing position. And then we're gonna take 20 seconds, go and get yourself a quick drink, and then we'll come back to the next exercise. Okay, so this exercise that we're doing is called supine knee to chest. All that means, supine is the way that we're lying, so that means that we're lying on our backs, and knee to chest is the movement that we're gonna be doing with our legs. So we're gonna be lying flat on our backs on the floor for this one. So take your time getting down to the floor. If you need to pause the video whilst you're doing so, that's absolutely fine. Once we get down onto the floor, we're actually gonna lie with our legs out flat and lying flat on our back, like so. This is a stretch, this exercise. So we're gonna be holding positions on this one. We're gonna lift one knee up towards us. We're gonna interlock your hands and try and put them around your knee if you can. If you can't reach there, that's absolutely fine. Just hold on to the back of the thigh. 
And then what we're gonna do is try and pull the knee towards our chest, as it says in the name, and we're just gonna hold for 15 seconds. Okay, off we go. Making sure that we're breathing nice and slowly on this one because it is a stretch. That's it. We're just holding for 15 seconds. So we're not too long. And we're gonna do that three times on each side. Okay, and then relax from there. Swap over legs. So we're gonna bring the other leg up. Remember, if you can, interlock your fingers and put them over the knee. If you can't, that's absolutely fine. Just hold on to the leg and then pull that knee in towards you just as far as you can. Obviously, as with all the exercises we do, we don't want pain, we just want a bit of a stretch. So we're gonna pull it in to where it's comfortable and let's hold for 15 again, off we go. Really focusing on that breathing now as we're coming towards the end of today's class. So just focus on that nice and slow, steady breathing. Okay, great, that's one on each leg. So we're gonna switch back to the first leg, pull in towards the chest and let's hold 15 again. That's it, just going as far as you can. That's great. And then from here, we're just gonna slowly release and bring the leg back down. And again, we're just gonna swap to the other side. So pull that leg in, take your time to get into the right position, and then let's go again for 15. Perfect, making sure that we're relaxing the rest of the body. So we're sort of lying down, head into the mat, shoulders into the mat. And just relaxing into that stretch. Brilliant, okay. So one more on each leg, and then we are done with this exercise. Fab. So pull the knee in towards you. Try and relax, like we said. That's great. Okay. And from there, we're just gonna relax down. And let's go on to the last, last leg. Brilliant, pull in towards the chest just as much as you can and off we go. And don't worry about how far you can get on these. The more you do them, the more movement you will get. So just keep practicing them. Okay, brilliant. And then just take your time just to get back up into our standing position. Okay. Fab. Well, that is the end of our exercises for this class. We still do have a cool down to do though. So we're gonna take 20 seconds, have a bit of a drink, have a bit of a breather, and then we'll come back for our cool down. Okay, let's get started with our cool down. Um, so with the cool down, we're gonna be focusing on bringing that heart rate back down, bringing our breathing rates back down, and sort of just relaxing the muscles after the class that you've done. So we're gonna start off nice and easy with 30 seconds of deep breathing. So for the breathing, I'd really focus on breathing in through the nose and then breathing back out through the mouth. We want in those nice deep breaths. So when, we're, when we are breathing in, try and think about sort of filling, filling the rib cage and then obviously releasing on the breath out. Okay, we're gonna go for 30 seconds all together. Off we go. So like I said, breathing in through the nose and back out through the mouth. And make sure, like we said, we're really trying to fill that rib cage with air when we're breathing in and then breathing out nice and slowly. You might find that at the moment, because you've just finished the exercises, that it's a bit difficult to slow that breathing rate down, but just go at your own pace. Okay, Fab. what we're gonna go on to next, again, nice and easy, we're gonna go on to some walking on the spots. So in the warm up before, we were obviously trying to increase our heart rate with the marching and the jogging. This time we're trying to bring it back down. So we're gonna go nice and slowly and just walk on the spot, okay? For 30 seconds, off we go. 
that's great. So still swinging those arms like we were before, but obviously just in a bit more of a relaxed position on this one and going a little bit slower. That's great, that's halfway there. Five more seconds. Great, okay, so this time we're gonna move on to doing some hip circles. So we did these in our warm up before, but again, a bit like the walking, we're gonna bring the pace down on this one. So we're gonna have the feet shoulder width apart, hands on the hips, and again, make the circles as small or as big as you can. And we're just gonna go big circles with the hips, nice and slowly. We're gonna do 30 seconds all together, off we go. So bringing the pace down a little bit on this one, just moving through the full movement, nice and slowly. We can still concentrate on our breathing in these cool down exercises. So really trying to slow that breathing down. 10 more seconds. Great, okay. For the next movement, we're gonna be going down to the floor. So take your time getting down. If you need to hold on to something, then, then do that. Um, nice and carefully onto the floor. And we're gonna have the feet out in front, legs nice and straight. I want you to try and keep the knees as straight as possible with this one. And then we're gonna rest the hands on front of the thighs. From here, we're just gonna slide down the legs just as far as you can, and we wanna grip on to our legs as close as we can to our ankles. And we're gonna hold that stretch for 30 seconds. Okay, so moving down just as far as you can. And then let's hold for 30 seconds, off we go. Still focusing on that breathing when we're doing this movement. So breathing nice and slowly in and out. And we should feel that nice gentle stretch down the back of the legs. Okay, we're halfway there. Ten seconds left. And five seconds. Okay, and sit back up into that relaxed position. We're gonna get ourselves back up into a standing position, but again, take your time. If you need to hold on to something to help you get up, then that's absolutely fine. Okie doke, once we're up then, for the next movement, we're gonna be doing some Stretches, mobility work for the, for the middle back. So we're gonna have the feet shoulder width apart again. The hands this time are gonna come up behind the head. And we're gonna be doing four different movements. So we're gonna be coming down into a forward position, back up and into a slightly extended position. Then we're also gonna do some flexion to the side, back up into a middle position and over to the side. Okay, we might add in a little bit of rotation Two, just to stretch a few extra muscles. We're gonna go for 30 seconds. I want you to go at your own pace and we're just gonna move through all those different movements, just making sure that we're stretching all the right muscles. Okay, off we go all together. So coming forwards, back up into that slightly extended position, and back down, over to the sides, and then rotating. Great, and again, we're gonna move slightly forwards, and up, and slightly back. Then we're gonna lean to the sides. And again, we might go slightly over 30 seconds, but we wanna get all those movements back in. And the final rotation. Okay, and then bring the arms back down into our neutral position. We're gonna finish off by doing 30 seconds of our deep breathing again. So we're gonna go in through the nose, out through the mouth, make sure we're trying to fill that rib cage there and then release. Okay, off we go. So hopefully this breathing will, will be sort of easier now. Hopefully you'll be breathing that a little bit slower. In through the nose and out through the mouth. And really trying to fill that rib cage with air. Back down. 
brilliant. Okay, well done everyone. So thank you for attending our exercise class today. We hope you've enjoyed it and we hope to see you very soon on our next session. Thank you.